Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. I'm Ian Dixon. In this video we're going to look at the new build of Windows 10 for Windows Insiders. This is build 10576 if you're on the fast ring. And there aren't a huge amount of changes in it, but what it does include is some new DLNA features in the Microsoft Edge browser. Now these were in previous builds but didn't really work, they only really work with pictures. So we're going to take a look at that, but before I take a look at that, just going to mention some of the things in here. Um, in this build, uh, I noticed the setup experience was slightly different. It said we're keeping all your settings and uh, we're installing updates, so that's slightly changed. Uh, you can use Cortana inside a PDF when viewing them through Microsoft Edge and uh, use Ask Cortana by right clicking or tapping and holding. You can use uh, when you're opening a PDF in Cortana, uh, when you're opening a PDF in the Microsoft Edge browser, if you tap and hold or right click, uh, in, uh, you can use Ask Cortana. I'll tell you some of the things they fixed, and I'll show you this uh, deal in a sec. Uh, they fixed issue with the Xbox app. Um, they've introduced nested Hyper-V, but I think that was in the previous build, so they're just saying this includes improves the performance. And um, the search box now works if you're in a locale that doesn't have uh, Cortana. There are a few bits and pieces that don't work. Um, like audio gets dimmed when a notification comes through, so if you listen to music it goes off for a period of time, or reduced to 75% they say. And uh, there's still a problem with upgrading if you've got a small device like the Dell Venue Pro or the Link 7, it'll blue screen during the setup. And if you've got a Surface Pro 3, the power button it might change to a um, shutdown button instead of a sleep button, but you can change that. So that, that's that's the other changes. What I wanted to show you though is the changes in, in Microsoft Edge. So what I'll do is I'll fire up my Surface behind it when uh, DLNA client so we can try streaming some video to it. Okay, so let's go to the Edge browser and here's one I prepared earlier. So this is uh, a post with a picture and a YouTube video. So what I can do now is from there I can go cast device and what it will do it will search on the network for DNA compatible devices so that includes Roku as you see on here, uh, Xbox One, uh, Windows Media Player, any devices that uh, work as a DNA media player. Right so I've clicked cast and it's now showing me the devices available on my network so I'm going to use the Surface Pro 3, the device behind it here. Uh, I could use my TV, and if my Xbox was on, it would show up on here. So you can do it for any of the DLNA devices. So there's the picture now showing that was on here. And uh, you can actually select different pictures as well. You kind of have to hover over them, which is really hard to do with the, the keyboard. Um, but the main thing you can do is you can play videos so I should be able to tap on a video and play that and it should play through the surface so just find it from the YouTube and you can see it's playing there uh, quite well actually so um, so just gone through for YouTube and the video actually plays better directly on YouTube it perhaps the casting understands the API is better so this is a video on here playing on YouTube and I haven't got any options to control the which video you know I, can't, I can pause it I guess and I can skip them back but I can't change the um, quality or anything like that and you can't do anything on here oh, actually you can you can pause it on here so I wonder if I can I can probably change the quality on there as well and uh, let's change that to 720 and see if that'll stream uh, yeah that's streaming now so in high quality so that's actually working really well now if I close this page I'll lose the stream let's try that yeah there we go we've lost we've lost the page is that's what you expect it's not using like Chromecast where it hands off this is actually using this device to stream from here so it is good though from from the edge browser you can just go to cast device and uh, and you and you're away you need, your machine needs to be sorry I mean the machine needs to be on the uh, network and you need to um, be have net in Windows you need to be in private mode I found it for it to, to work so that means the ports are open for DLNA but that's it so that's what's new in this build um, a nice 
nice feature. Um, I think it's I think it needs to be a bit little bit more robust. I found it a little bit hit and miss and a bit slow on the discovery, but that's looking good. So that's the new build of Windows 10 for Windows Insiders. There's a new phone build as well, which uh, I've recorded a video. You'll see that on our YouTube channel as well, and you'll see more on the digitallifestyle.com.